Greetings from Bermuda, this is BD Alimi, and welcome back to Tainted Grail Conquest, where we are in the middle of our first run. We have defeated the first two bosses of the game, and now we're going to carry on where we left off. We only have one weird candle left, which is going to be a problem. Um, see whether there's anything we can do about that. I don't right think now, there is. This, building is an this is where a candle maker may end up at one point. But we have not found her yet. Okay, she seamstress. Found her in the, the last, last area. Eye. You did a good job gathering all those pieces together. But we need to do more before they become a real village. We need to join them. But I've yet to find the right thread. Okay, talk. Upgrade our abilities. Unlock new options for the seamstress. Um, unlock new options. Uh, which needs resources we don't have. Blood. Okay, remove curses, get a random passive skill. Uh, we do have lots of money, but yeah, both of these, okay, we need 100 blood to unlock them. Uh, ask her to sew your body, enter character creator. Okay, so we can change our look. That's kind of cool. Uh, abilities. Upgrades are permanent. That also needs blood. We do not have. Uh, when it says all upgrades are permanent, I'm assuming this means across runs. Uh, oh god, we're so close there. 45. 45 blood. That is not enough to do anything. So. Well, the last time I saw her, she was really big. Clearly ready to give birth. She's probably hunting for food now. It's not easy to feed that many children. Don't worry, she's not dangerous. She's just a poor woman with... a special relationship with the weirdness. And she's a mother after all. She won't turn to violence unless her children are threatened. And I just finished this cloth. It would be really comforting for her to have it. Can I count on you to get it to her? Sure. Okay, I guess she'll be somewhere out there. Um, what else? The blacksmith. Can we do anything else at the blacksmith? The blacksmith is hard at work when you approach him. Don't even think about bringing other blacksmiths here with you. This village is mine. We are dead serious when it comes to competition. Okay, uh, I think we still can't do that right now. Right, it's runestone dust, and we only have two. Oh wait, rune stop drop, runestone drop chance boost. Maybe, maybe we should do that. That seems like a sensible thing to do. Um, that's all we can do. We talk to him. You're not giving up, are you? Fine, fine. I'll tell you. I really loved me village and me people. When the army marched through our lands, I thought the All Mother herself had blessed me. I got a contract to forge soldiers' weapons. But something went wrong. The weapons weakened instead of getting order. So the army blacksmith accused me of treason. They didn't hang me because my people demanded a fair trial. But there was no time for one, so the army burned down me workshop and told me to leave. I had no choice. It was that or the noose. This anvil is the one thing that survived the fire. No, I don't care about that. It was so long ago. It's just a habit of mine. Whenever I work on weapons, I like to get angry. And then I force myself to care. And you get the gist. My only regret from those days is that I didn't get the chance to say goodbye to me, beloved. Silence. He quickly realizes that a question is, is forming in your mind. Ah, oh, silence. His eyes sparkle as he starts to tell the tale. She was the most beautiful person I have ever met. We would only meet at night, near the water. 
She didn't speak true, but we understood each other very well. I miss her every day. So please, forget what I told you considering the other blacksmith and all that treason. It really doesn't bother me anymore. But silence, if you ever meet her, please tell her I'm here. If she wants to join us, I promise I'll take care of her. I'd be glad to have someone to talk to besides me, Anvil. Okay. Okay, and lots of quests. Um, runestones. Maybe we should buy some. Um... So this tells us how many we've already got. Uh, we need three to combine. Uh, we do have plenty of money. Uh, an ethelagar and a stam. What about that green tick is there? Do they all do again? I can't remember. Um, rune stones. Have an upgraded gar. Gar and stan. Okay, so we have. Oh yeah, stan down here. Okay, so we got to stan in. Yeah, there to increase our maximum hit points by thirty. So two more stands, if we could get them, would be good. Um. Three side quests now. I know you should ask everything during your first meeting with the archer. Oh no. Now we should find him again and learn more of his story. Okay. Uh, then do delivery for the seamstress and find the silence. Definitely sounds sus. And then the third guardian. Must be even more difficult than those you met already. By now you know that you'll need to tread carefully. Dying on route will mean that you'll have to slay the other two guardians again because the paths don't stay open for long and this is a roguelike deck build up. Okay. Um, so, uh, the okay. Is hard. Can we buy two of these? No, he's only got one in stock. But if we buy one... Uh, uh, that's probably showing we've got it equipped. Actually, that green tick. Uh, and then if we find another, we'll be able to upgrade it. Good. Uh, but otherwise, we can't do anything else here. So, I suppose we could take... Do we take another Ethel? We've got so much money. I don't know if the money carries over between runs. I'm assuming it doesn't. Um... Since we don't have much else to spend our money on, let's let's get another one of those as well. And then we'll be in a position to upgrade either of them if we find one more. Uh, okay. Leave. I guess we head out into the weirdness with our basically one candle. This is going to be a problem. Um, where are we going? Going that way. Wait, what is this? Have I been here? Can we interact with this? Mm, nope. Nope. Yeah, I think the candles are going to be a problem here. I think we're going to die because of a lack of candles. Let's see there. Uh, you know what? Let's just go. Straight into the first fight. Candle is uh, just sputtered out. Oh, great. Increased damage of all enemies by 50% for two turns, or if not played next turn, lose two energy. Ah, oh, man. Better light a candle. That's our last candle. Uh, and now I cannot. Why can't I move? Can't change the angle anymore. All right, God, he's a big dude. Corrupted giant. Each turn, this enemy will increase its damage and lose a bit of its armor. 
Cosmos Mutation, this enemy's attacks ignore all types of defense. That seems pretty bad. But he's going to take three turns to do some kind of big attack. Necromancer will resurrect his allies. Oh, that sucks. Tormented Grub, he will deliver simple attacks and spawn smaller grubs after death. Okay, so the Necromancer probably needs to be our top priority. Ah, oh, God, I think I'd rather lose two energy next turn. retaliate with that. So we need to remember if we kill enemies with our ultimate ability we will heal for 10. Uh, so we want to try and do that. Um, God, we've got a lot of attacks coming in. God, this is already looking pretty rough. Oh, uh, broad reach and double broad reach and double strike. Lots of other enemies to hit with cleave, which is useful. Although I'm not sure, it might be better to do this and then double strike. Block would just stop this 3 to 4 damage, which is not nothing, but we do also have 20 barrier to pool of additional hit points. Yeah, let's try and do... I'm going to try and make some of these guys vulnerable. Ah, sadly though, if we do this, he's going to be vulnerable this turn and lose it next turn. Uh, well, it is what it is. Okay, and we've got our, so just to remind ourselves, every 10th card played in one combat increases your damage by 10% until the end of combat. As two turns of combat, we gain extra armor. At the end of the turn, we deal one hit for eight damage to all enemies, which is super nice. Uh, whenever we hit an enemy, increase our armor by 10 this turn. Gain 5% damage each turn. And then every four hits, they become vulnerable and take double damage. Uh, we also play every sixth attack type card twice with zero energy. We have one, uh, we have one. One energy this turn. It's not the best. That thing is vulnerable. to get some block up. He resurrects its allies, so as long as we kill him before one of these other guys dies, we're kind of okay. Uh, feel like I should be making the most use of the fact that that's vulnerable. So... Let's broad reach and do that. Whoa, we killed it. I did not expect to kill it. Oh, because it was vulnerable. So it took double damage, and but then broad reach made it take quadruple damage, basically. I think we got a lucky roll. Okay. Um... He's immortal and has a chance to steal one of our cards. That's kind of bad. Can't kill him even, all right. 
Does that mean, is he going to resurrect the big dude? I don't know. It does mean that we healed as well, though, because we killed him with our ultimate, which was <laughs> unexpected, but, but good. These things, though, are now pumping out a load of... They're all pumping out a load of damage. That's really bad. Uh, this is a good time for protection from evil to show up, though. Reduce everybody's damage. You're taking so many hits. One block this turn, one block next turn. I think we just need to block. Jeez, uh... we're still taking damage from him, though. Hit for 30 to 67. Anybody vulnerable? He's vulnerable. He's vulnerable. This is a lot of damage. I think I gotta do this. Healing. Ah, okay. Probably healing himself. Hey, AJ, how you doing? Uh, you bought this a few days ago. You're liking it so far, but the UX needs some work and polish. Uh, first try, difficulty three with Wade Hunter. Unlocked a lot of classes trying to complete the class. Oh, nice, cool. Yeah, I, I, haven't, got chan I haven't had a chance to play this again, obviously, since uh, since my first play the other night. Um, yeah, I just got a bit of time this afternoon to, to hopefully squeeze in another area. What is it about the UX that you that you don't like? I actually think the UX is is quite is quite all right. Um, and how how far did you uh, how far did you get through? How many bosses did you beat? Uh, Song of Power is not very good because we don't have many attacks. Use 125% of maximum hit points. Increase casualization by one turn. Oh, these things are causing so much damage. Um. Ugh. Okay, let's do that. I think I'm gonna. Oh, we've got one block anyway, so we're gonna block him. It's small damage, but it it, it all adds up. Does all add up? If we hit him again, he's vulnerable. Though, hang on. Maybe we should do that, and then broad reach on our ultimate. And actually, if we're gonna do that. We are going to do this. Don't know whether this is going to be enough to kill, but... Not quite. Ah! Okay, well... Uh, in battle you have to fidget with moving view so you can see all the status bars depending on the number of mobs. The bars get covered so you can't do vulnerable, can't vulnerable stuff. Oh really? Okay. I haven't had that problem yet myself. Are, have you got a, a lower res screen or something? I, I guess sometimes they can sort of encroach on each other a bit. Uh, but I've, yeah, so far it's been, been manageable. Oh god, this is back. Uh, oh no, but now it's a good thing because I've got a candle lit. Uh, god, I'm taking... A chunk of damage there. Okay, so we'll do that. Boost our damage. He is basically dead. I would like to kill him with this. So. Intends to attack, stun it. Whoa! 
Oh, I never feel like we've got enough energy in this game. Um, you know what? We can do one. Will this give us enough to kill? Oh, I don't know if it will. But we're going to try. We're going to do that for the for the armor. Eight to eighteen. We might. Oh no, we didn't. Oh, but our revenge attack's gonna finish him off, yeah. So I don't get the heal. I'm down to 51 health. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, who do we want to die next? He spawns scrubs after death. His damage just keeps getting bigger. Uh, with the map upgrades, the big map is janky when trying to highlight what NPC or location is under the cursor. It's the icons are covered by the enemies. Oh, really? Okay. Right. Uh, what are we going to do here? I guess... Got two overhead swings. He is causing us more damage, so I guess we're gonna hit him. Two energy left. Uh, we've got a block one. I like the draw additional card with its cost reduced by one. That's block two. Get block. So that's free. So, well, hang on, let's wait. He is vulnerable, which is good. Uh, okay, so let's do. We killed him. <laughs> Sometimes I get surprised. I, I kill things when I don't expect to. Uh, your job used to be making UI, so you fussy. Okay, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I obviously do a lot of work in UI work in my. Well, yeah, yeah, a reasonable amount of UI work in my day job as well. And I, I am fairly fussy about UI stuff as well. Um, you beat four guardians on. Difficulties one and two with the Weird Hunter on the third area currently. Not having a break to make dinner and watch stream and all that. Okay. So, sorry, when you say you've beaten four Guardians, you, you mean you've beaten all four? I didn't even realise... Did we get an option for a difficulty level? I don't remember being given an option for a... for a difficulty level. Maybe I was and I just picked normal or something. Um, okay, well, okay, he's vulnerable, we should kill him. These are not doing anything this go. And we should kill him with this, so we get some health back. 109 to 247. Still spawning grubs after death? When do these things stop spawning grubs? Ah. Uh, one energy left. Let's do that. Uh, let's target block you. Okay. Let's do 
some small strikes. You guys are vulnerable. Get you up that way. Um, already got a... Did we still already have a target block on him? Wait, there isn't it. Oh no, it only lasts for that turn. Ah, okay, so that was no good. Ah, uh, do I want to be trying to block everything? I want to get some attacks in as well. Uh, you unlock the difficulties by beating the fourth guardian twice on one and two. It's a secret boss to unlock like the Slither Spire Heart. Oh, right, okay. Wow. Cool. You enjoying the game overall, though? I'm, I'm really liking it. It's yeah, it's it's the it's kind of got the Dark Souls kind of atmosphere as well, uh, which I really like. Um, and I like the battles. The battles are fun. Uh, I suppose we could hit him. Then we could broad reach. And maybe we'll kill him. With that, I don't know though, will we? Uh, what's this going to end up doing? This is on, we can get it up to six charges. 15% based on a guy, I find it too hard to work out. It's only on six to 15 at the moment. I feel like it's not going to go up. I mean, I suppose with broad reach and vulnerable, probably the top end could potentially kill, I guess. Uh, uh. No, let's play this safe because my health is getting kind of low. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to. gonna block the stuff. So that retaliate thing is is pretty useful. Okay, gain extra damage this turn. Fifty percent extra damage this turn. Uh, apart from the UX jank, you enjoying the game? Cool. It's between this and Rogue Lords, but from what you've seen, Rogue Lords just doesn't grab you as fun after a few runs. Yeah, I yeah. That's, that's kind of how I feel at the moment. Uh, I am going to go back and do book three at some point. Uh, probably, I guess, once I finish this run, maybe. Um, but yeah, something about it is not... I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Not, not quite grabbing me either. We Hang on, we've got one block this turn anyway, so if we can kill him, we're good. So, let's do that. Uh, 37 to 84. Oh, you see, this could end up killing him, which we don't want. 39 to 88. Oh, and so could that, but if it doesn't... All right, so I'm going to use broad reach just to make sure this is the thing that kills him, or increase the chances anyway. So we get the heal. Oh god. How many things is it spawning? Um, and then we got protection from evil again. So give me just spawn two more of these. I think I'm going to do uh, that again. And that. And we're good. At least it gives me more things to kill to regenerate health. Like that, that upgrade that gives me 10 health on killing something. So good. Like so good. I don't know what I would have done without that. Um, because health potions seem pretty few and far between. Wait, I could have bought some health potions at the... Where could I have got them? There was somebody selling them in the village, wasn't there? I forgot about that. All right, well, uh, three hits for seven to 17 to random enemies. I, yeah, I think we do that. Oh God, we actually killed him. Oh 
Okay. Ah, I'm killing things and not meaning to. Who's got the lowest health? You. Will we kill you? We might do. We might do, but then if we don't... I could broader reach again. Yeah, let's broad reach. And then use that. 26 to 58, that guarantees the kill. And a heal. Uh, and then we can just put a block up. Uh, in fact, we can do deep breath, which is better than a block. But we need to start thinking about taking cards out of this deck as well. Uh, okay, so... We'll do that. And we'll do that, because it's free. Again, we've got to try and kill with this. So we kind of want to do light attack like that nice rogue lords just seems repetitive this game also has a ton of side quests and encounters which evolve over runs 32 hours in and you've got loads of quests to finish and unlock still haven't filled the village either nice yeah yeah that's yeah exactly the same vibe i'm getting okay so, so the side quests carry over between runs then that's interesting i didn't i guess suppose that makes sense yeah, because the people in the village carry over between runs, so I guess it makes sense that their quests would. And then, yeah, isn't there like 10 different classes or something as well? Which are, I think, supposed to play relatively differently from each other as well. Um, okay, so... Be gone. Okay, we don't have any block on. So I guess 38 to 87. Okay, that's not. This is the only one we guarantee a kill. So oh, I love this healing on kill. This is the perfect fight for it. Um, and we don't want to kill anybody. 10 to 24. Okay, so we can hit you. Do I just take two da- yeah, I think taking two damage for the sake of... Although we may get him, we probably will get him below ten and then our retaliate is going to kill him anyway. Well, okay, let's see. I oh, know we didn't, okay. We can, only, can we only use this once per turn? Yeah, once per turn. So we can only do one of these anyway. But let's let's leave it at that. We're only taking two damage. Oh, he died anyway. How did he die? What happened? Oh, I had retaliate on, didn't I? Uh, I had my yeah zero cost retaliate thing on. Shoot. Okay. Well, now we just need to. <laughs> Is this gonna do it? Is this high enough? Oh, it is. Okay, good. Uh, I think, yeah, I, I like it that when there's only one enemy and you click on something, it just does it and you don't have to drag it over. But at the same time, yeah, there I was wanting to see how much damage I was actually going to do to him. Uh, but because I clicked it and there's only one enemy, it just did it anyway, so. Okay, it's given us enough blood to do something with it. So that's good. Uh, pick a new card. Fist of Stone. One hit for 300% damage. Reduce the enemy's armor. Calm Breeze. Reduce the energy cost of three cards in hand by one. Ooh. Uh, hmm. Is that for the rest of combat, or is that just for that turn? It doesn't say for the rest of combat, so... Every one is a continuation from the previous run. But you always restart with the starter deck and wealth wealth is reset, okay. Quest items and villager specific currency carryover, okay, cool. No worries. Uh one hit for hundred fifty cent damage return three. Card stays in your hand after it was played. Oh nice. It can be played a limited number of times in a single turn. Oh that's quite nice.
It's 150% damage as well. Hmm. See, this is this is a, gives us a kind of a net saving of one energy, I guess. Which is not bad, but it's also not great. Let's take advanced attack. I want another card. Uh, duplicate the next card played, uh, which means right, played again for zero energy. That could be good. Gain five blocks next turn, offer one energy. Deal six hits for 33% damage to random enemies. Each hit reduces the enemy's armor by five until the end of combat. Uh, and it also helps build up vulnerable as well. Mm. I do quite like that. Let's take that. And a new passive skill. Decide to fight. Start every combat with two additional energy. Slow thinking whenever you play two or less cards in a turn, you first hit the next turn deals 400% damage. Beginner's luck block every second hit received in a turn. Ah. Block every second hit. So if two people are going to attack us and we block one of them but not the second one, this won't block that. But I do like it. So. Uh, and another crack stan. Say another. Yeah, so we've now got. Uh, no, now we have three crack stands. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. This was what I was hoping for. Uh, and we can now merge these. So now. Max hit points increased by 50. Nice. And this helps because we have something that does something based on our, per our percentage of max hit points. Uh, which I don't remember what it is. Okay, a uh, tainted altar. As you get closer to the altar, a man in a dark robe appears out of nowhere. You're not worthy. Go away. I wonder if, now I'm thinking about it, like, why this gives me such a strong Dark Souls vibe, aside from the obvious kind of, you know, grim, dark atmosphere. Like, did all the, did all the voiceovers in Dark Souls have, like, English accents as well? Kind of thinking that they did. Because, uh, they, yeah, these NPCs remind me of Dark Souls NPCs, in, in it, which is a good thing. Exactly what I said. You're not worthy of being here. Not unless you're an acolyte of the Whisper. Oh, okay then, I guess I'm leaving. Now, I gotta go fast now, because I have only one candle. Uh, I really don't want to hang around in here. Uh, don't, okay, that is not the final boss. These candles do not last long. God, how many? Yikes, 23 to 27. Oh boy, okay. Uh, we have lots of zero cost cards there. Okay, preparation. Uh, oh, and we're coming with Stronghold as well. That's really going to help the chain. That. Block. Uh, yeah, this, this is great. Not played next turn, increase a random card's cost by one. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, well, okay, so we'll do that. To chain four, which is nice. See, we don't really need to play this, but to reduce the damage, but I really don't want 
card's cost to be increased by one next turn. Uh, I also don't like the fact that I'm not doing any attacking. A random cards cost by one. Maybe, maybe I can just suck that up. I'm just trying to remember whether this carries over or not. I don't know, but let's do it just to get the chain up even higher. Did that help our block? Well, that was supposed to increase our armor. I feel like that did anything. Okay, so then cost of the basic attack increased. That's fine. Crippling attack. Okay, he's attacking stun it. So that would be good to do on him. Okay, he's creating barriers to protect its allies. He cycles between offensive and, between offensive and defensive phases. Increases its damage every time it returns to the offensive phase. Same there for an explosive surprise okay yeah he's uh yeah he's got a lot of damage first, I think. He's buffing the others. Uh, okay. Stun him twice. Okay, I hit you. Uh, and we do have the one damage coming in there. Maybe we just try and kill him. 18 to 40, that's not going to do it. vulnerable. Hard scales plus 25 armor for every ally. Okay. 9 to 10, 9 to 10. to finish him with our finisher. Let's do protection from evil. If we do... Uh, do two hits. Bump this up to five. I think that will then be enough to finish him off. I kind of feel like we need to kill this one first just because he's lowest. I just should have done that the other way around. Eleven to twenty-six.
Okay, Song of Power. Oh yeah, he's spawned the grubs. Uh. Well, we have no defense here, so... Song of Power. to 21 to random enemies. Oh, we do this. Do that three times. I really want to get... This just helps boost this. He's attacking his 14 to 17 over there, but there's truly nothing I can do about that. So... All strikes. 17 to 38. Okay, so I can just do that on there and kill it and heal. Two energy left. Nineteen to forty-three and cleave. Um, uh, Want to keep him alive again for the heal, probably, but it also makes sense to use this, really. Although, if I do this first, I could make someone vulnerable. Let's just use that. Oh, I didn't kill him anyway. He's going to be killed by the Retaliate. Okay, stun a random enemy if not played next turn, gain 5 barrier. Um, okay, they are both vulnerable, which is great. There are three factions with three classes in each, so nine in total. Oh, wow, okay. Nice. Uh, okay, one hit coming in, so we should probably block that. So, uh, I mean, all we can... Well, we might end up stunning him, though. Let's just pop a block. Yeah, all our cards are defensive cards anyway. Yeah, there's no point doing the stun, because we, we, can, we can stop all the damage that we need to. Uh, so... We'll do that. We'll do... Uh, yeah, even that's not going to give us anything, is it? We'll do short pause. We'll do broad reach. And then we'll hit him since he's vulnerable. 24. Ah. So much armor. Get some of that armor off. Ah, healing. Hit it when they heal. Duplicate the next card played. Ah, oh, I need to get this armor off them. Uh, that would be a good one to duplicate then. Except he's about to hit me for 17 to 20. Ah, oh, so I can't really afford it. Got to get a block up. So, we'll do that. Um, I'll keep 
focus in on you. 18 to 34, 9 to 21, that's terrible! Okay, that will reduce armor. 56 to 65? Oh my god. Uh. Lock in your next hit. That. Uh. Um. That. And. That. God, it still feels insufficient. So double edge is the thing that increases the damage right, so I should use this now then. Unless I'm losing the benefit. Yes. Okay, these guys need to hurry up and die. to do that. Small strike, oh, strike is two. Uh, Vulnerable, 41 to 92. He's vulnerable, 20 to 46. 15. He's going to die to my retaliate. No, he isn't. Oh, well, that's perfect, because uh, I will kill him with this then. Hopefully. 3 to 7. 3. Get the heal. Uh, deal one hit, 7 to 17. If not played next turn, gain 10% damage. Okay. Uh, let's see. 7 to 8 coming in. Crippling attack. You would definitely want to do that. Uh, small strike first. Make him vulnerable. either crippling attack or block. I may as well do crippling attack. Two left. And he is vulnerable. So. Uh, 23 to 52, right? This comes back to my hand. So this is better. Nice. To keep remembering this, so the next attack card gets played again free. That's probably why I'm killing some things and not realizing it. Uh, so this would be good because that will reduce his armor again. He's trying to heal. So, I triggered it twice. do attack, then we do broad reach, and we hit for that, ah, we don't quite kill him, okay, hopefully, can we be able to kill him with this, I don't know, oh, the annoying thing is we can kill him with that, um, 
Duplicate the next card played. If I do that with broad, is this going to do? It's just four to ten. He's vulnerable. Let's do that with that. Nine to twenty. No, that's not going to do it. So we're going to block. I guess I'm on 145. Why am I trying to... Ah, too late now. Why am I trying to finesse this? Yeah, it's still 9 to 20. So let's let's save that. Uh, your second run was like that. You were one-shotting enemies and wrecking bosses due to loads of passives and runes activating. Yeah, it's it's quite fun. It does, it's very satisfying when that happens. Uh, okay, we've got block on, so we don't have to worry about that hit. Okay, we just need to kill him with this. 12 to 27. Okay. 7 to 16. Uh, do broad reach. 10 to 24. Go on. Oh my god. Okay. Fine. Uh, he's not attacking me. I guess I'll just do that. But I'm going to attack him for 10 and he's going to die. Oh well, that's alright. I got plenty of health. I was just trying to get it up to 150. Okay, cracked calc. Oh, that was a good one. I, th Yeah, that's the one we got in our sword, right? Uh, first down of combat, draw one additional card with cost reduced by one. I'd like to see another one of those. Okay, candle running out. Uh, was there a thing here to talk to? Mysterious witch. Woman inspects you carefully. Her old, tired eyes contradicting her youthful face. Do you know me? Have you shaped me out of the weirdness? Or have I just created you? She carries all the equipment you'd expect of a traveling witch. But she speaks in a soft, courtly manner. She also seems to know more about weirdness than you do and traverses it without a weird candle. Oh. You can help me traverse it without a weird candle. That would be great. I was traveling from the colony to Mangrave Huddle when the storm of weirdness overtook me. I wandered among ghosts and echoes until my feet were sore, until I found you. Colony? Mangrove Huddle? You've never heard of such places. I'm growing more and more certain you're not real. Can you pinch yourself? Do you feel pain? Uh, come join me. She listens to your invitation with patient condescension. You say you have a menhir. <laughs> How silly. You can own an item or a piece of rock, but not a being of weirdstone. I have a better idea. Uh... I'll invite you to my village, but first, I'll need proof that you're real. I know there is a man out there wandering with a fading candle. That's me. He's desperate for light, yet he doesn't know that there is no light that could guide him back home. First, find him and help him realize this simple truth. And then, when he's broken, guide him to his real destination. She starts rummaging for something in her possessions. Oh, and take this. It might come in handy. Maybe. Someday. Empty bottle. Okay. What could it be that you think you need? I have to warn you that nothing is free here. Candles. Yes. <laughs> Requires 10 health. We'll get one weird candle. Uh, wait, is this 10 max? Whoa. We made five cards for 112 max health. Um, okay, I'll take that for a weird candle. Sure. You're desperate for the candles. Uh, all right, so yeah, let's go, 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 go. Right, is what my candle status is not good. God. Okay. 
Uh, Ogre, he will attack only once every few turns. Defending against its attack will severely damage your armor. Not defending against its attack will probably kill me. Uh, about this thing. Tormented Shaman. This enemy will spawn totems to buff its allies. Okay. For a Sentinel, this enemy redirects damage from all of its allies to itself. Okay, I guess I'm going for you first then. Now what are you all doing? Uh, attacking for one. Nothing. And attacking for one three times. Okay. In 10% damage this turn, if not played next turn, lose 50 armor. Uh. Weird candles, yeah. You actually sort of worked out when to relight for max efficiency. Worse than Poker Quest food, yeah. I'm assuming that at some point there's there's like a building in the village with candles on top of it, right? I'm assuming at some point you find somebody who can make candles for you in the village. Because uh, yeah, right now they feel like in real short supply. Like now I don't know whether I should Uh, like, can I safely not fight the final boss? Like, should I be trying to fight the final boss while I still have a weird candle lit? Or can I, can I risk going in without one lit? Like, up until now, I've been using that as the indicator to, you know, to go for the boss. Um, but now it feels like I'm so low on them that I should probably not rush the boss quickly. I, yeah, I, I don't know. This is a problem. This might not kill this. If I hit it again, with anything, 14 to 31, it almost certainly is gonna. I guess I've just gotta gamble. Nice, okay, good. Okay, you're gonna spawn totems. That sounds annoying, but you are also gonna do some special attack. So, we better do protection from evil. And one energy left. Uh, I think we're just going to hit you. Oh, and I guess that was duplicated. Uh, not sure you were loading an early fight. Uh, and the weird cards had debuffs as well. Yeah. I mean that that seems to be the that does seem to be the effect that then the you know, the cards you get are, are bad, but I guess do you only get one or you get them periodically throughout the fight. I still haven't quite sussed out how often you get them, because um, if it's not too often, then yeah, then I, I I guess you can get by without without a candle being lit, but. Uh, double block. One block this turn, one block next turn. I assume this means next turn he's going to do his special attack. Every so many turns, okay. Um. He 
Yeah, let's double block. Let's deep breath as well. Should have hit him a minute. Well, that's no, fine, actually. Attacking for 52. Well, I'm sure glad I've got a block. God, that's 52, even with his attack reduced by, um, by protection from evil. Oh, well, I could stun him with this anyway. Shouldn't need to. We should just stun that. And that blocks that, and we're good. Uh, oh, he's immune to stun, is he? He is immune to stun. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, true. I, yeah, that's a good point. I suppose... I mean, I guess you can... You can rotate it round so you can see stuff more clearly, I guess. But yeah, you, that's true. You do have to be careful. Ah, uh, well, good. I'm glad I did, I'm glad I didn't waste that stun on him then. Um, okay. So we can do double edge. Uh, I guess broad reach. Uh, what's this going to hit for? Is he vulnerable? 48 to 110. It's going to heal, but it's not healing for much. So, yeah, let's try and... Put some damage on that thing. Right. Now, what, we've actually got enough energy left, surprisingly, to stop... Can we stun this? So it's not even going to heal. Ooh, but he did reduce my armor by a lot. Eek. Uh, okay, then. Increase by 100 till the end of combat. Ugh. Um, hmm. Yeah, I had that problem in Rogue Lords as well. Um, I was not mousing over the icons, and it's yeah, same thing there. I was caught out by some by some bad stuff. Uh, I mean, the lack of armor is not a problem as long as I don't get hit. I guess. Played next turn, lose 50 armor. That thing's vulnerable, though. I'm not actually being attacked this go. So, sure, we'll do that. Click candle in battle to stop debuffs. Oh, uh, that's true. Is this still burning down in the battle? I, yeah, I've, I've lit it before. I assumed it stays at its same level throughout the battle. If I've only got one candle left, I'm gonna. I think I'll hang on and suck it up. Uh, 
Oh, do we just go for... Again, I, I would like to kill this with... Oh, well, no, I'm, I'm a health's full. Let's stop buffing around. We do that, 24 to 55 with cleave. That's dead. Uh, but that is the only thing then we can do. Yeah, that's fine. They are vulnerable. 20 to 45. Kill big dude. He kind of worries me. Let's hold off on that. Oh god, yeah, she just keeps putting out totems. Uh... Oh god. Okay, yeah, my absence of armor is a little bit of a problem. attack required. Hang on there. We can reduce armor as well. Double edge. Uh, let me get vulnerable on. Spend all this energy. Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't need to at the moment, do I? Because I'm on full health. So 28 to 64 on that thing. I need to wait till it's vulnerable. Heal for 12 to 17. Mm, that's fine. Let's wait. Why was my armor? So he's going to be attacking me next go, which is very bad. However, if I do double block, I am ready for that now. So I'm definitely going to do that. Um, he's vulnerable. Ah, uh, we have to do this. Have to do this on him. We could do this, and then broad reach, and then this, and then we will, oh actually we, I guess we just get two more charges of that. Yeah, that makes sense, does it? Or reduces armor actually. Yeah, yeah I agree. Okay, let's target him with that and reduce his armor. And then we do broader reach. And then we do this. 177 to 399. Goodbye. Okay, one hit for 21 to 48. Okay, we really need to kill him. Uh, although we can do that with this, I would say. We use this. This may end up uh, again. We don't. No, we don't need to heal. We don't need to heal. Stop faffing around. Um, just go for it. Twenty-five to fifty-eight. 
Overthinking it. As always. Okay, pick a new card. <laughs> uh, reposition, discard your hand, draw five cards. Chain attack, deal one hit for 125% damage. Duplicate the next card played. Or double edge. I do like double edge because it's free. I feel like my deck's getting kind of big. Rune carrier. Approach a strange figure, a hunchback, all covered with glowing rune stones. Some of them grow straight out of his body. He looks like he threw himself into a pit full of these stones and rolled around. Hello, stranger. Would you like to trade with me? As you can see, I have a lot of rune stones on me, but I barely have anything else. Some gold would do the trick. I've so realized that. that when you have enough gold, nobody cares about how you look. Got lots of gold, but you have. Nothing that I need. Uh, although you've got some rare ones, I suppose. Uh, what do these do on their own? In weapon slot every three turns, you always deal maximum damage. Okay, then. In armor slot every three turns, all enemies deal minimum damage. Uh, or cracked payorth. In weapon slot, start combat with plus 30% bonus damage. Every turn, lose 5% damage from this bonus. In armor slot, start combat with plus 30 bonus armor. He return, lose 5 armor from this bonus. Oh, and he's got 2 in stock of both. Ah, uh, we like this one. Uh, and I am going to buy... Uh, I guess runestones don't carry over, do they? I'm going to buy 2 though, just in case I can get another one from somewhere. Because that seems pretty awesome to me. And I got loads of money. Maybe I should... Yeah, I don't know what else to... Sp I should get this. No, no. Save the rest of our money. Uh, let's do some changes here. So currently the first turn of combat draw one additional card with its cost reduced by one. I mean, that is nice, but every three turns you always deal maximum damage. I mean, it's nicer. And we could even put one in there and one in the armor slot. Uh, is there anything we'd want to get rid of, though? Into the dirt. Yeah, you see, that's really nice. First two turns, plus 75 armor. That's the least good, because it's only good for the first two turns, and then its effect is gone. Gotta wait to unlock all the slots so you can use loads of rare runes, yeah. Are, are, the, are the slot unlocks, unlocks persistent between runs as well? Uh, every three turns all enemies deal minimum damage. I mean, yeah, do I do that instead of that? I feel like that might uh, that might be better. There are permanent and run only upgrades and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's it's uh, it's seeing which ones are permanent and which ones are run only. I guess I need to get to my second run to do that. Um. Is that better than that? It might be. We'll try it. Try it. Oh yeah, look, difficulty one. Okay, I haven't seen that before. Okay, where next? Uh, I'm not even sure where the... Oh my god, uh, oh yeah, okay, those are the other areas I've explored, okay. Uh, so the boss is down here, so we need to, we should head in that general direction. Oh. God. I'm guessing this is fine as long as I don't get into any fights. Is it? Oh, but I want to do as many encounters as I can because I want to do the side quests. Uh, 
Use block cards a lot, so you usually don't bother with armor. But if you don't get blocks, then you wish you did, yeah. Yeah, that's true, actually, yeah. Uh, okay, let's get... What is... Can we talk to him without fighting the other Something thing? No, oh, we can. At the edge of your sight. Something small and humanoid. With your weapon ready, you move deeper into the woods. Then you hear a squeaky voice coming from the darkness. Quite unique you are. A small, pale and seemingly ancient woman emerges from the shadows. She looks at you with a mysterious smile and a keen gaze. Nobody has come to see me in a long time. Well, the one thing I certainly am is old. Perhaps as old as time itself. But it doesn't matter. Want some candy? Her gesture clarifies that by candy, she means the small creature, vaguely resembling an octopus, which she clutches in her hand. <laughs> Thank her and eat the creature, or refuse graciously. Um... Um... <laughs> uh, this could go badly. Um... Oh, we, we gotta try it, right? She, she probably doesn't mean candy like we mean candy. So she's probably gonna get upset when I bite this thing's head off. <laughs> sure. I knew it. You're just like the others. Oh dear, that's not good. That's not good. That's a test for every creature I come across. Oh dear. He is my favourite being in all of creation. He doesn't talk much, but I'm fond of his presence. You shall certainly not eat him. You should have called him Candy then, should you? You'll be stuck in this place for a long time. You might learn some manners eventually. Oh god, she's gonna kill me now. The woman hides her hands behind her back. Now, I have something for you. Pick a hand. No, I don't wanna. Don't wanna. Either. Run away. I got a cracked tethel. Oh, okay. Alright. Thank you. Uh, thank you for not killing me. I'm very appreciative of that. Which one was the cracked ethel? Uh, ooh, do I have, th I have three of those? Let's now combine them. Uh, each card played increases your damage by 8%. Or increase armor by 17. Um, mm, surely these are still better. Still better. When you press the left alt, so many text highlights are obscured. Little text blocks need transparency and alignment. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll stick with stick with what we got. Uh, I thought all of the things that you interact with require you to fight an enemy first, but I guess that's not the case. So that's kind of cool. What is this? this here something like oh you can hear them before you even see anything the rustle of a thousand tiny legs approaching from all around you probably should let candle among them a whisper a voice sounding like nothing you've ever heard before <laughs> then you see her a creature no words can describe but you immediately understand ah. that you're standing in front of the protector that the seamstress told you about. Yeah, I got something for you. Yuck. This enormous monstrosity lifts two of her legs in a delicate manner you would never expect from something of her size. She takes the veil from your hands. Her face, a disturbingly beautiful face, looks confused and worried. 
The nearby bushes move as if they were alive. Uh, yeah, UI thingy, this scroll bar is annoying uh, as well. This kind of pops up from time to time and the mouse wheel doesn't even work on it. Anyway, uh, feed them. Uh, I do have 50 blood. I do have 50 blood. Uh, can I tell that she moved to my village? I guess we're feeding them must be a good thing, right? But then I can't get any fancy upgrades. Your mouse wheel is slow scrolling also. Yeah, it doesn't even it doesn't even scroll at all. You've actually got to grab the handle, which is very tiny considering how little there is to scroll. Um But yes, nitpicky, nitpicky. Uh do we just tell her that we move to our village or do we feed them? Can we do both? Um I, I feel like I feel like we should feed them, even though I'm gonna lose my blood. Uh cursor up and down does not work, no. Feed them. She moves closer. You realize that if you didn't help to feed her children, this conversation could have gone a very different way. Good. Oh, nice. She raises her hand to feel the wind. What could she be determining? You realize that she's speaking about your village. Oh. Uh, she's going to come to my village. A chance to react. That would be a bit weird. Having a spider woman in my village. Uh, but if you make candles, you can come. You need a candle maker. Okay. Wait, is this something different? Wait. That's me. No, I'm pretty sure that was her. This, I'm guessing, is a treasure. I usually try and do the treasures. So we could, yeah, we could light a... Uh, I'm assuming it's a treasure. And this is... Oh no, that's the that's the final boss. That is the final boss. So let's light a candle. Because this is hang on, isn't this different? See this is just this doesn't have a circle around it. Let's light a candle, then do this and then quickly do the boss. Go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Treasure pile. Ah, left alt to get text. Ah, okay. Oh. Uh, okay, now I wish I'd kept my armor. You guys are fairly scary, and I don't have very much block. Oh dear. Block. Oh my god, this is bad. This is super bad. to stun. Break. Uh, Alright, well we'll do two hits. So we... Oh no, we can't. We've only got one. Ow! 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 Take that. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> I want armor back! Yeah, even the minimum damage is super high. Right, well, we're doing that again. We're doing that. Uh, they totally wrecked you the first time you encountered them. That's good to know. They do seem pretty bad. Uh, I've got no block. Jesus. Anything we can do here? Draw one card. Let's try this first. Come on. 
Blood Ritual. Offer. Okay, reduce the armor all enemies by 100 and stun them. Last charge, but I think now is a good time to use it. Oh, you're immune to stun. That's a problem. At least I stopped two of them. Uh, at least I stopped two of them. And we could... What could we do? We could do this. Try and get some block. I got three energy left. Ripes. Twenty two to twenty five damage. I mean, it's just bad. Oh, Beginner's Luck kicked in that last time as well. That was good. Um, we do Double Pain and Small Strikes. We might get vulnerable on somebody. And then we could do Broad Reach. Uh, with our ultimate. taking a lot of damage. is that? Notice that in the last fight. What is doing that? Oh, whenever you hit an enemy, increase your armor by 10 this turn. Ah, okay. Right. That's, <laughs> that's good to know then. Okay. Uh, so we'll save that for next turn. We'll gain 10 armor then. We'll do broad reach. We'll double our damage. And uh, you're vulnerable. So 110 to 248. That sounds nice. Goodbye. And I heal for 10. Sweet! And now you're all vulnerable. Still in smacking me around there. Okay. Um, well, this boosts my armor, as we've just discovered. So, that I think is a good one to do. Could use Stronghold. No, because we're getting multiple attacks, so we'd rather have the armor than the block. So, do that. 65, which is nice. Duplicate the next attack card. Okay. Um, then we will duplicate this one. 46 to 104. Maybe should have done it on him. Is it me, or is armor capping out at 75? It is, isn't it? Increased by 80. Oh, I think you said that last time, didn't you, AJ? Max 75 and minimum minus 700 or something. Okay, he's still vulnerable, which is good. It's a massive hit, but if we can kill him with this, we would prefer to do that. 81 to 182 is not currently good enough. Uh, that will help. 118 to 267, nice. Ooh. Wow. Kill three treasure guardians in a single run. Achievement unlocked. 
It's mine. Counter, gain one block for each enemy alive. Double strike, deal two hits for 100% damage. Cleave, okay, we've already got that. First slash, deal one hit for 75% damage, but it's free. So that helps me get uh, armor and it helps build up vulnerable. Minus 500 to 75, okay. That seems a bit <laughs> lopsided. Uh, I like the fact that it's free and yeah, it helps me. It helps me with stuff, so we'll take that. Passive skills. I love the passive skills as well. Uh, armor Crusher. Whenever you hit an enemy, reduce that armor by three until the end of combat. Killing Spree. Start each combat with ten ultimate charges. Unused block lasts for an additional turn. Um, like that. Treasure pile. You found what was protected by this beast. A stash of gold and jewelry. When you filled your pockets up to the brim with gold. Okay. Uh, okay, new combat slot for items. Uh, bottle given to you by the witch. Can we actually equip that? A combat item? It is not. Uh, so we don't need another slot here. Flame block just in case has saved you a lot. Yeah. Um, and starting armor. You know what? Given that we took that thing off our... Yeah, let's take more armor. Okay. Uh, oh, there is a person over here. I kind of want to check this out. Do we have time? We've got time. Let's go. Healing. When killed, this enemy will steal one of your cards, or it will just disappear if there are no allies on the battle. Okay. Every hit makes it deal one more hit. 40 to 47. Extra damage for every ally and a life steal. 20% damage this turn if not played. Next turn, gain one armor. Okay, well we got two double edges. And <laughs> we've got all defensive cards. Which is not bad. Um, so. Duplicate the next card played. So the extra damage this turn is no good, so we may as well leave it anyway. So let's duplicate, double block, and do short pause. Okay. Can we kill him before he attacks us? intensity buff this enemy can heal maybe should we kill him first I kind of want to leave him I feel like I want to get protection from Eve a lot. How long is my armor on? Mm, yeah, I see that drops off next go. Now that block carries over, I'm more inclined to play block, but maybe that's being a bit too defensive. Let's do protection from evil. Uh, let's do that. Try and get 
rid of the healer. But possibly not completely. Ah, uh, this thing is gonna be. I think it's gonna be attacking me multiple times. Bank on them healing this thing. My health's almost at max anyway, so I don't actually need the heal right now. It's 25, okay. 3 to 4, so preparation. Uh, what are we doing with the block? We have two block already. Okay, that's good. This thing is vulnerable. So. Uh, and they're all, okay, they're all cursed. Nice, okay, so dealing the least amount of damage. 16 to 36. Increasing my armor. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. I know that makes him do more damage, but okay. One to two damage. Oh, in fact, one damage five times. We can, we can handle that. Uh, block blocks him, so that's fine. So, we wanna do broad reach. Hit him with this. 105 to 236. Nice. And deep breath. He's vulnerable. 50 armor. Let's see if we can do something about that. Uh, charge your ultimate ability to half its max charges. Should we do that now? Probably. Not attacking. Uh, Mist of Stone is probably better. Thirty three away, thirty three to seventy five, though. Let's do Save enough to do broad reach, so let's do that. Then we'll do broad reach. Then we'll do that. 92 to 207. Okay. Not quite so good that time. Everybody's healing. Okay. Stun a random enemy if not play the next turn, gain the barrier. Just hit you. It's actually vulnerable. Protection from evil, all in. This turn increase the damage you deal by 50%. Can't breeze, reduce the energy cost of three cards in hand by one. Uh, my deck is so big, maybe I should... Uh, should I be skipping cards? 16 stance cards now as well. 
I like protection from evil. But I do worry a bit that I'm diluting my deck. Second copy though. I'm gonna take it. Back to Stan. Uh, okay. Take. Continue. And you. Who are you? The Pied Piper. As you walk carefully in the woods, a quick, lithe creature runs towards you. It takes you a moment to realize it's a human. He brandishes a short wooden stick, screaming and shouting in despair. My children! I've seen what you've done to my children! Barbarian! Sacrilegious scum! You shouldn't have done that! What will I do without them? You watch him, confused. He looks malnourished, as if he's had nothing to eat since he entered the weirdness. And you're sure that was a long, long time ago. I failed them. I couldn't protect them. I'm not worthy of it anymore. Turns out the stick he tried to beat you with was an instrument. A flute. He sniffles. The flute is a strange one. Mysterious markings and blood cover its surface. Take it. It's your duty now. But I need a weird flute. He plays a simple melody. Suddenly rats swarm all over you. You've seen enough of them already to know how this will end. Um... Um, 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 um... Why? They were my children! My lovely children, look! He plays a simple melody and the rats suddenly stop. Some sway from left to right as if dancing to the rhythm. You see? They would never hurt me! I will get one wooden flute. Ah, uh, sure. Use it. Use it every time you see them. Play this every time you see my children. Promise me! Promise! You bow to the stranger and leave him to his madness. I love how weird this game is. It's awesome. Uh, okay, we got a wooden flute. That does stuff with rats. We, however, are going to the boss before my candle burns out. Go! Alright. 2,000 health. Mist bearer. This encounter is divided into four distinct phases. Phases. Pay attention to the enemy's statuses and intents. 19 to 23 damage three times. That, and he's debuffing as well. That just seems rude. Uh, he loses 2% hit points per turn. Plus 100% damage this phase. Every hit reduces his damage by 20% this turn. Lasts until he reaches 70% hit points. All right, then. There's a mushroom in the way if I go that way. Let's spin around this way. Okay. Let's try and defeat the mist bearer. Um... Three attacks. Okay. So let's gain some... This is just going to be purely defensive. Well, is it? Oh, I have to equip it. Yes, I did. It's here. Oh, reduce the damage of everyone by 50% this turn. Can be used once per combat. Okay, okay. I didn't realize it was an item that we, we could equip. That is, that's pretty cool. Well, we can do, so we can block two of these. Um... 
Every hit we reduce his damage by 20%. does this reduce it by? That will take us up to max. 19 to 23. 7 to 9. Okay, great. So, I think we just... We just block. If he's gradually dying anyway as well. I use another which... Okay, interesting. Do we, do we, do we, oh, well, we can't increase our damage any, our armor anymore by hitting him anyway, so. I guess we do block and we do deep breath. Okay, two attacks, 11 to 13 damage. So we do that. We do that. We do that because it's free. Uh, a slash because it's free. Uh, can we stun him? Let's not say we can't, right? And now he's vulnerable, so we can hit him for 31 to 71. Did that trigger twice as well? It sounded like that triggered twice. Nice. Okay. Whoa! 24 to 30 damage twice. God, if I ever get caught without a way to protect myself from this. Oh, he's now immune to stun. Okay. Okay, double edge is free. And ten percent damage this turn. If not played next turn, lose fifty armor. Oh well, that's that's just a non-starter. We can't have that. Duplicate, so we can do double pain with double block. So. Yeah, we do that just so we don't lose armor next turn. We'll do double edge and then double pain with double block. Sixteen to twenty damage three times. Oh god, now I now I am thinking I've got too many stance cards in my deck. Ah, uh, this is twice in a row. I've not had any attack cards. Uh, okay, we've got two block on, so we actually only need one more block on. Is he still immune to stun? He is not. So, I think we just stun him. Double edge. One energy left. Hold, or we protect from evil. This stronghold is probably better. It's a 75, okay, done. Okay, immune to stun now, but he's not attacking us for too much, which is good. Uh... We also still have two blocks, so that's good. So if we just hit him, um, that reduces his damage anyway. Or not. Two energy left. It's vulnerable. Deal two hits for 25 to 57. So they are the same. OK. 
Okay. Do that now. 91 to 206. Why not? So he's dealing the least amount of damage. So that's good. He's still vulnerable. Penetrable fog. Gain five armor each turn, spawns one cultist every two turns. Oh, wait, hang on. So he switched into. I'm guessing he switched into. Right, okay. Yeah, he switched into his second phase, I guess. Okay. Five armor every turn, spawn one cultist every two turns. Vulnerable. Oh yeah, it's already factoring in his vulnerability. Isn't it? Uh, and it reduces his armor permanently as well, which is going to help us. We have... Oh, we deal the highest possible amount of damage. Nice! We deal 255 damage. So we could even do it with broad reach to deal 500 damage. Uh, we're still taking some damage from him, but it's not too bad. I think that's worth it. Order H. Mist of Stone. Okay, some of the cultists. What's he doing? 16 to 19 attack. Uh, gains damage. Heals Mistbearer and removes this status one turn after suffering a hit. Uh, okay, you're all hitting me for a lot of damage. No, let's do double edge. Lose damage next go if we don't play that, but... Uh, but I think... Oh god, he's vulnerable though. I want to make the most of that. Protection from evil. Short pause. to 74 him Do, this enemy can be devoured by the mist bearer I wonder how much we worry about the cultists whether we just go with the mist bearer what are we going to draw next go uh, hmm. Even balance between attacks and locks. This could be a bummer. Maybe we should just... Let's just do that now. Okay, a thing happened. <laughs> Uh, it tends to attack its ally with heal. Uh, what now? Okay, we could stun him. Attack its ally with heal. What does that even mean? Could stun him and do a double block to stop his... Attack. Uh, 
forms an offering after a few turns. Uh, oh, I'm kind of slightly nervous about leaving this guy up. <sighs> I gotta say. Let's stun him. One block this turn, one block next turn. Feels pretty good to me. Oh, he summoned another one. Ah, this may get out of hand. He's doing a special attack. Yeah, that really doesn't sound that great. One block. Which will block him. Maybe we should get rid of this guy. We hit everybody. Oh, it's cleave, right? Cleave, 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 of course. Okay, um, so 82 to 186, 41 to 93. This guarantees we heal, but is really overkill. 14 to 33, that does not even guarantee we kill. Hmm. 95 to 214 damage to him, though. Uh, I feel like we've got one more turn to deal with this guy, actually, so... already this is uh, reduced by 30% you know let's reduce his armor by more Do that. Takes him down to ten. Oh God! How many? Oh, jeez. Okay, this could be a problem. Blind rampage can't be healed. Spawns two cultists every turn. Okay, maybe we should have. Maybe we should have taken these guys out before we got him down. Well, we didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, 58 to 71. Ooh, that's... Not good. Duplicate the next attack card. I've only got one. Okay, if we can kill this guy, we save ourselves a lot of damage. Can we do it though? Whoa, can we do it? Uh, all right. So if we pop two block, that will save us from him and from him. So we should definitely do that. 
And then, is it worth... Yeah, it is worth using that on him. Oh, 8 to 18. Come on, kill him. Yes, so we get the heal. Okay, and that's one less effect to worry about. Okay, take 9 damage. Ah, uh, but he just keeps summoning. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Mm. Okay, song of power. This is pretty bad. Can use that to stun him, which we should definitely do. We we go we gotta kill him. Quick 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 quick. Let's stun him. Okay, so now we're only taking all of this damage. block we do that we do that uh, and this is at least free 18 to 41 if we get lucky did not you know what we should have focus fired probably Get rid of him, but he just summons another one right back. Uh, this is actually no good right now because it's already at half its max charge. Well, I suppose we, we use it and then we... Oh, God. Oh, boy. like I'm losing this. We stun him. We do protection from evil, which really didn't seem to do much, actually. 83 to 74. Why didn't it stun him? He's immune to stun, isn't he? Oh my god. I'm dead, I think. Wait, I can use it multiple times? No, I can't. Am I dead? I feel like it's a pretty good chance. Oh no, because I'm blocking every second attack thanks to my passive. Oh, I'm just coming in super handy right now. I just can't do enough damage to him though. He's still on 531. Like, what is all that about? Okay, uh, we want to... Okay, okay, okay. Double edge. We'll... Uh, can we double pain with block? Yes, we can. Double pain with block, and then we broad reach, and we do that, 97 to 219, I mean it's not great, it's not vulnerable, but 75, every, every little bit helps. These are attacking now. Preparation. Um, is 
this actually going to do anything again? Or am I better doing broad reach with fist of stone? 66, 76, 86. Oh. Maybe I kill him? I don't know. Helps. 72 to 162. Reduces armor by more. Uh, okay, we need to remember we got the flute. Will he charge my ultimate ability? Okay, what's the worst that we could take here? 40, 51. Yeah, okay, we can survive this. Why were those guys dying? I don't get it. We probably can't survive this. Uh, we need to make him vulnerable. Oh my god, we gotta kill him. We don't kill him. We're screwed. Although, can we even survive? Even if we do kill him. Dealing least possible map damage, 20, 30, 40, 52, which kills me. Oh, I think I'm dead. Let's do that. I want to leave enough to play this. If I do this on him, it makes him vulnerable and it deals damage to everybody else. But I, you're right, I gain defense every time I hit stuff. Keep forgetting that. Uh, 26. Okay, we, we can survive if we kill the main dude. So. What would this do? 64 to 144. With this, we can double it. Not guaranteed. Ah, uh, we could fully charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the that was the other thing I was thinking of, right? Do that. Can we kill him with just this? 306 to 688. Yes, we can. And that ends it. Oh! That could have gone horribly wrong. Oh! That could have gone horribly wrong. We have had... Well, yeah, we might have done it without that item, but we might not have either. Oh my god, okay. One weird candle. They're so generous with the weird candles. Okay, take that. Continue. 
Pick a new card, yeah, any more attack cards. Uh, reduce the enemy's armor by 100% of your damage until the end of combat. Crippling attack. Skullcracker, deal one hit for 550% damage with cleave. <laughs> oh man, I mean that's that's so tempting. It's the only thing you can do in your attack though. Um, I actually really like crippling attack. Because uh, being able to stun something for one is so much better than that stun card for two that I've got. So if I can, and, and it deals damage. So I'm going to take another crippling attack. Uh, you actually haven't seen this particular phase. You had passives and runes that added damage on the first attack card played per turn. Just repeated the attack card played. Ability decreased armor by 100 and was AoE. You had loads of combat bonuses. You just attacked the first boss phase until vulnerable. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So you made much shorter work of him than me. Yeah, I guess I've... Yeah, my synergies are probably not... Not really where they need to be, but... Okay, a new passive skill. Eternal Return. At the start of each turn, gain two ultimate charges. Uh, that's not bad. You had no idea what was going on. Heavy opening. First hit in combat deals 100% more damage. Slow thinker. Whenever you play two or less cards in a turn, your first hit in the next turn deals a 400% damage. Um, yeah, I I feel like I'm not often doing this. So, probably one of these. Uh, given the, the, the ultimate helps us heal. First hit in combat. Uh, so, that's the first hit of the fight. Yeah, let's go for return, return. As the monster disappears, you expect the goat to appear. And indeed, you're not at all surprised when you hear the familiar voice. Splendid! But don't rest on your laurels just yet. What you see right now is only the first dimension, the first level of this corrupted reality. You can't see the creature's face, but you can imagine its smirk. Anyway... Make a special passive skill or remove one card from the deck. Oh. Passives are really good, I think. Um, remove one card from the deck. It just doesn't feel like it's going to have as much of an effect as this, so I'm going to take the special passive skill, even though I would like to slim down my deck a bit. Uh, delayed consequences. Negate the first hit suffered each turn. Wow. Really? The first hit suffered each turn. Negate it? And then we've got that other skill that negate that effectively negates the second hit each turn. Uh, at the start of every turn, draw one additional card. Its cost is reduced by one this turn. Oh my god, that's also good. Forward planning. If you play two or less cards in a turn, next turn draw two additional cards with the cost reduced to zero. Um, oh, both of these. Both of these are fantastic. Um, God, it gives you a free block every turn. Really? Am I reading this right? At the start of every turn, draw one additional card. Its cost is reduced by one this turn. I mean, that's so good as well. It's the ability to play more cards. Ah, oh, honestly don't know what to do. It does, doesn't it? But at the same time, I've also got a deck that has a lot of block cards in it. So... I wonder then... Oh, yeah, but that, 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Ah, oh, I hope we see this one again sometime. It's really nice. Let's return to the village. Okay, well, that was the third area. Amazingly survived. So next job will be to slay the fourth and final beast of weirdness. Uh, but that will be next time. Uh, so, uh, until then, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, thanks AJ, as always. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, this is BDA Limey signing out. Bye for now.